Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showing you the best ISO builds and also the best all around builds you want to use in NBA 2K25. So my tall guards are going to like this and anybody that just really want to do everything on the court. Of course, this is from YouTubers that went to Community Day. And of course, today we're watching Double H, man. Um, he made one of the best three ISO builds that we have seen yet. So we're just going to be reviewing that, looking at his point of view of the builds. Let me know, are you hyped for NBA 2K25? Comment down right now below. Without a further ado, man, let's see the best build in the game so far. All right, man, we are about to see if Double H is really cooking in the builder, bro. So he's going to make a 6-6 six, six build, a 6-7, six, and a 6-8 all-around ISO build. Most likely, I will choose to start off the game. But let's see, man. Let's see what, what he got going on. So if you do go 6-7 wingspan, this is potentially a 6-6 six, six build you could have. Now, this is a Hall of Fame limitless range 6-6 six, six build. You're probably like, Double H, what are you talking about? Okay, now let's break it down. We're going to watch the video, but let's see. He went with a 93 Jarvin dunk, a 93 three-point, 86 ball handle, which gives you a speed with ball 75. Perimeter defense is an 85. His steal is a 79. Block 68. Rebound 49. Agility 77. Speed 85. Your strength is a 50, and your vertical is an 80, so you can get those animations interesting i mean it's not bad you know it's not bad you know it really depends on your play style now let me try to like what would you use the five cat breakers for i would use the five cat breakers for agility to be honest agility agility speed i mean agility steel and then speed with ball honestly your free throw is not even a 71 I think this is pretty solid. So let's let's see what he gotta say. I, I'm not I'm not mad with this at all. I would probably go a lower three though. That's the thing, bro. I would probably go a lower three at first and use the cat breakers for my three and try to get more speed with ball. Because if everybody's gonna have a 75 speed with ball, bro. I don't, I don't, me personally, I don't need an 86 ball handle. I can get away with a 70 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball. And that's just going to give me like more strength, like more rebound. But now nah, this, this solid so far, 43 standing, driving layout 73. That's solid. It's solid. As a 93.3 gold limitless range. Well, guys, when you hit level 30, you can badge elevate a tier one badge. And guess yeah. what? Limitless range on gold is a tier one badge. So if you hit level 30, you can have Hall of Fame limitless range on this 6'6 build. So if you. Now wow, that's tough. I forgot about the max plus one badge elevators, whatever you want to call it, tier one, tier two. I forgot about that. So that that's what that's why he went 93 off the rip. That is that's why he went 93 off the rip. Because he's not trying to wait for those cat breakers. He could get legend limitless. You know, as soon as he unlocked gold, he can get legend limitless. I mean, well, Hall of whatever he said, Hall of Fame legend. Um Hall of Fame limitless. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hall of Fame. That's gonna be insane. What else? What else? I know 93 driving dunk. He could do the same thing for that. You were looking to get Hall of Fame limitless range on a taller ISO build. Guess what? This is going to be the wingspan you want to go with. And this is going to be the height you want to go with because that's where you're going to get that 93 three-pointer at. And guess what? You're not going to be able to get Hall of Fame limitless range at these taller ISO builds through cap breakers. It's only going to be through badge elevators. Yeah. So if you want to spin your badge elevator on limitless range, get Hall of Fame limitless range, go this ahead and do out. it with that 93 three-pointer at the 6'7 wingspan. And yeah, this build's looking pretty good. Now, one thing I... Bro, a 6'6 six, six with Hall of Fame? Yo, my 
it, it isn't hitting me, bro. We'll say is I did make this build a community day before we saw the contact dunk animation requirements, which are subject to change, but I don't think they're going to change. So I would take this build if you want to make the Hall of Fame Limitless Range 66 build with the badge elevator, and I would put the dunk down to an 89 and the yeah. vertical down to 78. You're probably asking why. Well, here's a screenshot of what most likely will be the contact dunk animation requirements. And there's really no point nice. to go to 9380. Yep. Yes, that no is point. for gold posterizer, but you're not getting extra contact dunk animations with that. So I feel like you may as well go 96. 82 or even 9685 for that hall of fame posterizer so yes you can stay at this 93 dunk 80 vert get gold posterizer and have your build look like this but if you want to save attributes and maybe you wanted a higher pass sack a higher agility a higher steel higher, a higher perimeter, maybe even higher a higher steel. mid range or layup or whatever you can easily save attributes by going down yeah. to 89 dunk 70 that's smart. That's what I'm doing, bro, because I know people be going OD with the dunks, bro. You don't need that crazy of a dunk, bro. You just need silver posterizer. And then, like he said, you can use the badge elevators, and you can make it gold posterizer. Like, so, yeah, that's smart. That's what I'm going to do, man. And then bump the steel up to an 85. Try to get some a little bit of agility in there. The eight vert. But just keep in mind, you will only have, uh, you know, silver... But just keep in mind, you'll only have silver posterizer with that. So if you're a big dunk meter guy, your dunk meter is not going to be nearly as good with a so it's silver posterizer compared to gold posterizer. But anyways, oh, yeah, yeah, this build's we looking great. I mean, gold posterizer, Hopefully gold know that. range, know that. which is going to turn to Hoff if you use the badge elevator on it. You have silver lightning launch. You have gold, all the gold shooting badges, yeah, except for um, obviously mini marksman because you're too tall to get that badge. You also get silver perimeter defensive badges. You Tough. also get silver steel badges. And you also have a 68 block, 69. Wait, hold on, hold on. I just noticed that. We get silver interceptor and glove with a, with a 79 now? Yo, so what's... Oh, man, silver 79 still might be the wave, right? Ding, that might... Oh, man, I might have to do that. I just noticed that. Because I'm like, why he got a 79 steel? That's low. But it gets silver. Interior, allowing you to get some bronze block badges, like that chase down badge. You also are 85 speed, 77 agility. I mean, maybe you want to lower the speed and increase the agility, but that's also good as well. So yeah, this is the best 6'6 Hall of Fame limitless range build if you want gold posterizer, mm. okay? Otherwise, you can lower that and, you know, do it. you mm. will adjust. So what y'all think, man? We finna go to build number two. What y'all think? What y'all thinking, man? What is y'all thinking, man? Let's 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 see. All right, six six virgin. This is the second best build. Wait, he did another six six. He did do another six six. He did three. I want to see a six seven six eight. But we can look at we can look at this. A very smart man, because when I tell you we were literally one attribute away from a build with legend posterizer and gold limitless range, I am not kidding. Now, what I mean mm. by that is as you see, your driving dunk when you're at a 610 wingspan can go up to a 98 max potential, and cap oh, breakers only work with max potentials. So you would have to go 611 wingspan to have your max potential be a 99 dunk. But if you go 611 wingspan, your three-pointer goes down to an 88, and your limitless range goes from silver to bronze. So mm. if at this 610 wingspan, we were be able to get that 99 dunk with a cap breaker or with a plus three cap breaker on driving dunk and a badge elevator on the three-point shot, we would have had legend posterizer and gold limitless range on this build. But unfortunately, we don't. But that you can still OD. get legend posterizer and silver limitless range on OD. this build. And you can actually do it without even spending a cap breaker. So if we go back to the stats right here, if you want to put the badge elevator on All right, let's let's check it out. This this is the number 2 version of the 66. Um the defense didn't change at all. Um the speed is a 89, agility 76, 51 strength, 85 vert, 96 driving dunk. Three points at 89. 
Ball handle, more ball handle, 86. Pass accuracy, 69. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We skipping this one. We skipping this one, chat. We skipping this one. Let me look at the third version. We skipping that one. We skipping that one. Is this the same one? Oh, he just got more block. 74 block. 89.3. Ball handle the same, speed of the ball the same, lower pass accuracy, perimeter defense 85, still 79, driving dunk 96. Mm. Well, hey, if y'all like that, y'all screenshot it, write it down. Here's what I want to see, bro, the 6 7, bro. Because we most likely making a 6 7 ISO. Um, I'm going to go for like an 85 three-point, like limitless silver for my three. We're already so tall at this point that it's like we're just getting less attributes in those six three five nine builds to the point where it's not even noticeable really too much between six six and six or contact dunk packages. Now the second thing I did is put the ball handle to the to an 86 and put this speed with ball to a 75. This is going to give us really all the necessary silver playmaking badges. And mm. then just for now, I put the pass act to 71 for Silver Dimer. Silver. But I'm going to end up increasing it even more later on. Then I put my three-pointer to an 89 for that Silver Limitless range. Then I put the yep. Perimity to an 85, the need. Steel to a 79, the Block to a 74, which is going to give us Silver Perimeter and Steel badges. And it's also going to give us that High Flying Denier badge. Now, I also upgraded the Speed, a little of the Agility. Then I upgraded some more Pass act. And I even got away with upgrading some more perimeter defense and interior defense. Now, look at this build right quick. This is looking really good. So, once again, silver. Now, this is what we're going to... Man, double H, bro. This, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Now, the only thing that worries me personally is strength, bro. I need to be at least like a like high 65, 68, bro, because... You know, I might want to go to the 1v1 rank for it. And I know I'm going to be, yo, I'm going to be going in there with, with some post scores. And you feel me? We go see, bro. And I want a higher steal. Look like it's not possible. I might have to lower the ball handle. Definitely the pass accuracy is going to have to be like a 71, 70. Um, 89.3. We're definitely keeping that for those silver badges. Driving dunk, 89. I mean, my, I might drop it to an 87. Um, I'm going to see if I can remove that post control. I think it goes up by itself. But now nah, everything else is looking solid, bro. This, this is this is nice. This is this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one right here. Silver posterizer, silver limitless range, yep. silver. This is a great one. This is a great one. But wait, they increased it. Challenger is um 92. So once again, silver so posterizer, perimeter. silver limitless yeah, range, 92. silver dribbling badges like silver unpluckable, silver lightning launch, silver handles for days, all the silver shooting badges, like I said, silver dimer, but you do have a 78 pass axe. Your passing is going to be faster, but you also get bronze versatile visionary, which is kind of like bronze needle threader, which is good. 78 pass axe, that's good to have that bad. Not only that, but you get gold challenger and yeah. gold on ball menace and hall of fame off ball pest. So your perimeter badges on this six, seven are really good. Not only yeah, that, nice. but you get bronze paint patroller, which is kind of like the rim protector this year. So that's going to be really good for blocks. Once again, you get the silver steel badges and you also get bronze high flying denier and yeah, you get the 81 speed, 80 agility. You have the good vertical. You do get the 40 standing dunk and you don't, you don't have to go 45. You really just need that two hand standing dunk at 40 standing dunk. So. All right. Let me think about it because we is grinding the plus five, bro. So if I had the plus five, if I had the plus five, man, it might it might gotta go to strength. It might gotta go to strength or steel. And then if I had the um the badge elevators, because you know we bond the season pass, chat. You need that. So tier one and tier two, based on the badges, bro, I would probably go steel glove, no cap. I said steel glove. Gold glove. 
the gold glove. And then for the tier two badge, we might we might make that high flying. Now we might make paint patroller silver. Because we got a low block. So I might go paint patroller silver. That's going to be more than good enough. But guys, I mean, this build, if you want to go 6-7, you like the higher pass stack, you like the higher perner defense, this is, this is going to be a better option than you. Than the Come on, bro. Don't hit me with no ad, bro. Don't hit me with no ad, bro. Saving on your education should be a right, not a competition. The 6-6. Six, six. But it's solid, bro. This is solid. This is... The second best build, you know, second best ISO build that y'all might need to make, man. Um, let me know what y'all gonna do if y'all do make this build. Um, remember to factor in the cap breakers if you're gonna grind the rep. We don't know how easy or hard it is yet. And remember those batch elevators, bro. Now let's move on to the build. The six eights, man. I heard six eights is back. We is about to find out right now, man. Three three pointer. I'd like to do what a lot of 2K24 good builds did and get that high mid range so I could still unlock a lot of those good shooting badges at this 6'8 height. So I ended up going with 6'11 wingspan, which, Damn. yeah, I'm only going to go in 83 three pointer for that bronze limitless, but that 92 mid range is why we went with the 6'11 wingspan. So we have minimum weight, 6'8, 6'11 wingspan, which is still very good wingspan. And I went 83 three pointer for that bronze limitless range and yep. 92 mid range which is going to give us gold dead eye on this 68 and yep. gold set shot specialist now i feel like dead eyes are a really good badge are going to oh my gosh bro seeing the 68 see this is what i might do like for real, for real i know i said that earlier if you watched the whole video and you're still watching bro drop a like subscribe i appreciate the support now i don't need if the badges work how they supposed to work i'm never gonna go higher than a 93 unless like i know i'm making a guard and i'm gonna be shooting and fading from everywhere that's the only way so for me personally i'm going to stay lower than an 85 on all of my builds except for probably two which is gonna be when i make a lot now i'm gonna want higher than a 93 90 driving dunk and um 90 90 steel but um I'm just glad I finally see somebody doing this, bro. You don't need that much of the three-point shot. You can just up your mid-range to get the badges you want. And then, like, bro, you just save so much, bro. But he got a certain people. I don't know, man. I got to see what he do with the speed of a ball and the strength. Hopefully, he put strength up on his build. To be a really good badge in 2K25 because those hop jumper cancels, those step back shots. And it just looks like you could shoot over people again. Like dead eye, just I feel like that's gonna be an important badge. So on this six eight, it's definitely a badge that I'm interested in having. The next thing I did is I went to 89 dunk, 78 vert, so that's we fine. can get those contact dunk packages, yep, cool. and so we can get silver post riser. Then I started upgrading the defense like crazy. I'm talking 84 block, 79 steel, 84, 85 rim, 70 interior. Then I put the ball handle to an 86, the spew ball to a 75. The pass sack to a 71. And dude, I was only a 97 overall at that point. So I was like, hey, we got some more stats to spend here. This is looking nice. So I upgraded the speed, upgraded a couple other things. And this is what I ended up ending with. Let me see. It's solid, bro. This this is probably the best one overall. I'm not going to go that high of a ball handle, bro. Remember, we can test animations and all that day one in the builder. So you'll be able to get a feel of how, you know, your player moves and the animations you are required to get for that build. You'll be able to test it out, bro. So I'm not going to go that much on the ball handle, bro. I just need my speed with ball a 75. The block, the block is crazy. The block is actually crazy. I'll keep the interior and maybe drop the block. And then I'll up the defensive rebound so I can get in the top right. I can get on uh, rebound chase of bronze. You know, we want those badges. Um, And then strength, bro. I need strength, bro. If everybody build is going to have no strength, I need strength, bro. At least a 75. So 
And then Pulse Control 51. I'm going to have to see if we can turn that down. But, no, nah, this, this is a great build. It's a great build. Let's see what he got to say, bro. This is a great build. So, this 6-8 six six Demigods might be back, bro. 6-8 build. Obviously, the height is going to be an advantage. The wingspan is going to be an advantage. Yep. You're still going to get contact dunks with this silver posterizer. You have That's your standing dunk packages with this build. 92 midi. Hey, you're definitely going to be able to spam midi fades. That's you still have bronze limitless range. You, you can have good shoot. pass sack to get that bronze uh, visionary badge. You have the silver ankle assassin, the other silver unpluckable, silver silver lightning launch dribbling badges. But you still have good defense. Like we're talking silver paint patroller, yeah, that's bronze tough. chase down, silver high flying denier, and bronze tough. pogo sticks. So the blocking is going to be crazy. Plus, we got the silver steel badges with silver gloves, silver interceptor. We have the silver perimeter uh, badges with silver on ball menace, silver challenger. The best good all around build, defense. bro. We have a 70 interior defense. We have a 79 speed, 76 agility, 78 vertical. Now, the problem is I'm one defense rebound off bronze rebound chasers. So, yeah. honestly, I don't 100% remember at Community Day maybe being this close to rebound chaser. But, yeah, go ahead, edit around this build. Get that rebound chaser if, if you can. Told y'all, bro. You don't need that rebound. What, what did I just tell y'all? What did I just tell y'all? Or maybe just completely take off that defensive rebound as low as you can without it affecting another stat. Look at these badges, man. 75 speed of ball. Get you silver. Okay. And putting more to towards speed or agility. If you want to... Shifty sh shooter gold. You need either a 72 agility, 91 mid-range, or 91 three. So we don't even need a 92. I think he just did 92 for Deadeye. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We we breaking the builder, bro. I, I, already, I already see what I can do, bro. I already see what I can do, bro. Put on free throw. Go ahead and do that. Maybe you want to lower the pass act and you want to make this more of a ones, twos kind of build. Go ahead and do that as well. Not only that, but make sure you take a look at the takeovers it unlocks because this, out of all the builds in this specific, Bro, I forgot about the takeovers chat. The 72 takeovers. Above the rim, eraser, mixtape, <laughs> slice, swat specimen, midi maestro, driver, make it rain, mirror, spot up shooter, 3 and D offensive artist. Bro, that's insane, bro. All these badges will be crazy. Specific video takeovers. gets the most takeovers. This build gets 12 takeovers. Now, it's not like the 6 3 build in my other video that gets 21 takeovers, which is insane, but Blur. it still gets a lot of takeovers. So make sure to pause, look over all the takeovers it gets, see if the takeover Poster that machine. you want in there is there. And if you Marksman. don't know all the takeovers, go watch my My Player Breakdown video where we show all seven. Oh my gosh. Hey, let me know, man. This is the end of the video. We have shown the three best all around ISO builds, man. 6 6. 6 7 and 6 8. We reviewed it. We looked at the builds and we give it a solid A. We give it a solid A, bro. All around. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Um, you know, you're sacrificing your height. And you know, double H did a great job, you know, making these builds. So, anyways, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let me know what build y'all making day one. We will be live. We will be here on this channel dropping content every day. But hey. Make sure you have a blessed day. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.